hello everyone namaste welcome back to my channel academic tuber today we are going to discuss unit 15 from grade 10 science that is human nervous and glandular system here in this unit we are going to discuss human nervous system under heading human nervous system we are going to discuss central nervous system peripheral nervous system and autonomic nervous system Next, we are going to discuss endocrine glands. Under heading endocrine gland, we are going to discuss different endocrine glands. Pituitary gland, thyroid gland, parathyroid gland, adrenal gland, pancreas, gonads. Isimole. The environmental factor which brings some change on an organism is called isimole. For example, heat, light, touch, etc. Stimulus. The environmental changes that causes an organism to show response is called stimulus for example touching mimosa is stimulus and collapsing of leaves is reaction reaction the response given by organism to certain stimulus is called reaction nervous system the group of organs which controls and coordinates the activities of human body is called human nervous system in this system there are three major organs like brain spinal cord and nerves Types of nervous system. There are three types of no our human nervous system can be divided into three parts. They are central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, and autonomous nervous system. Central nervous system. Brain. It is a highly delicate organ of central nervous system. It is located inside a bony box called cranium. The brain is completely covered by three layered protective membranes called meninges. They are dura meter, arachnoid, pi meter. The cavity between the arachnoid and pi meter is called sub arachnoid cavity and it is filled with a liquid which is called cerebrospinal fluid. This fluid protects the brain and spinal cord from mechanical shock and injury. Pass of brain. For brain mid brain hind brain cerebrum it is the largest part of brain it is also known as big brain it occupies about 80 percent of the total brain cerebrum is divided into two parts that is left and right hemisphere each part is separated by a very deep tissue if cerebrum is stop functioning a person enters in enters into coma functions of cerebrum it controls the feeling of love hatred affection etc it controls various activities like memorizing thinking intelligence etc it controls function of different organs of the body second one midbrain it is a thick wally structure which constitutes a small middle portion of the brain it is located between cerebrum and pons virally. It connects the anterior region of the brain to the posterior region. Functions of midbrain. The midbrain controls reflex movement of the head, head, neck and trunk in response to the visual and auditory stimuli. It also controls the reflex movement of the eyes, changes in uh, pupil size and shape of the eye lens. In brain. So we are going to discuss in brain under three sub headings. They are cerebellum or small brain, pons virally, and medulla oblongata. Cerebellum. It lies just below the posterior part of cerebrum. It occupies about 10% of the total brain. It maintains the muscular tone and balance and equilibrium of the body. It is also called small brain. Function of cerebellum. It maintains muscular tone. It coordinates and controls both voluntary body movement it maintain body balance pons virally pons virally is located between the midbrain and medulla oblongata it forms the part of brain stream in the floor of hind brain functions of pons virally pons virally serves as a relay action carrying signals from cerebrum to the cerebellum it also regulates respiration medulla oblongata it is the lowermost part of brain which is connected to spinal cord. Damage to medulla oblongata causes instant death. Functions of medulla oblongata. It works as a bridge between the brain and spinal cord. 
It controls breathing, heartbeat and blood pressure. It controls vomiting, swallowing, coughing, etc. Function of nervous system. It enables us to think and remember. It coordinates working of various gland and tissue of the body. It controls and regulates all voluntary mus muscular activities of different parts of the body. The spinal cord. The long white knob tissue which extends from medulla oblongata to the lumbar vertebrae is called spinal cord. It consists of white and gray matter. Any kind of damage to spinal cord can cause paralysis of the body below the part of injury. Such injury is called spinal injury. Function of spinal cord. It is a control center for reflex action. It connects different parts of the body to brain. It acts as a pathway for the transmission of impulses from different organs to the brain and brain to the organs. Organs. Reflex action. It is defined as quick, spontaneous, automatic, and mechanical response to a stimulus. Example: blinking of eyes, coughing, sneezing, yawning, watering of mouth on seeing food, etc. Nubs. The thread-like structure which are responsible for trans transferring impulses from one part of the body to another part are called knobs. Types of knobs. On the basis of origin, knobs are classified into two types. They are cranial knobs and spinal knobs. Cranial knobs. The knobs that are originated from the brain are called cranial knobs. There are 12 pairs of cranial knobs present in the human body. A spinal nerve. The nerves which are originated from the spinal cord are called spinal nerves. There are 31 pairs of spinal nerves present in human body. On the basis of direction of flow of impulses, nerves can be classified into three types. They are afferent nerve or sensory nerve, efferent nerve, motor nerve, and mixed nerve. Afferent sensory nerve. The nerve which carries impulses from receptor organ to brain or spinal cord are called afferent nerve, efferent or motor nerve. The nerves that carry impulses from brain or spinal cord to various parts of the body are called efferent nerve. Mixed nerve. The nerves which consist of both sensory and motor nerves are called mixed nerve. It converts sensory impulses into motor impulses. Differences between cranial nerve and spinal nerve. Cranial nerves, they are originated from brain, whereas spinal nerves, they are originated from spinal cord. There, there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves present in human body, whereas there are 31 pairs of cranial nerves. Differences between sensory nerve and motor nerve. Sensory nerve carry impulses from organ to brain or spinal cord, whereas motor nerve, it carry impulses from brain or spinal cord to other part of body. Sensory nerve shows Reaction about something, whereas motor nerve is sends instruction to various parts of the body. Neuron The structure and function unit of nervous system which acts as a center for sending and retrieving impulses are called neuron. Here is a diagram showing the structure of a typical neuron. Axon Axon is a type of neuron which is long and tube-like structure which carries impulses from the cell body to dendrites of another neuron. Dendrites It is a type of neuron which receives impulses from another neuron and sends to the cell body. Differences between axon and dendrites Axon they are long and tube-like structure whereas dendrites they are highly branched and short. Axon they carry impulses from cell body to dendrites of another neuron whereas dendrites they receive impulses from another neuron and send to cell body. Axon they are efferent whereas dendrites they are afferent. Axon they lack nasal granule whereas dendrites they contain nasal granule. Types of neuron Sensory neuron The neuron which carry messages from the receptor to the brain of the spinal cord is called sensory neuron. Motor neuron. The neuron which carry impulses from brain or spinal cord to the receptor is called motor nerves. Connecting neuron. The neuron which connects sensory neuron and motor neuron is called connecting neuron. So here is a diagram showing the different types of neuron. So interneuron which is multipolar, motor neuron, multipolar, sensory neuron, unipolar. Peripheral nervous system. The nerves which originate from brain and spinal cord 
is called peripheral nervous system. The two types of peripheral nervous system are cranial nerve. These nerves origin from the brain and they are 12 pair of it. It controls the activities of eye, ear and tongue. It ends in the head region like eyes, ear, nose, mouth, tongue, etc. Second one is spinal nerve. These nerves originate from the spinal cord to different parts of organs. There are 31 pairs of spinal nerves in body. It communicates between different parts of the body, spinal cord, and brain. Reflex arc. Reflex arc is a pathway followed by the sensory and motor nerves in a reflex action. The major components of reflex arc may be explained as one number sensory receptor organ. It receives the stimulus. Second, sensory afferent nerve. It transmits the impulse from the receptor organs to the spinal cord. Third, mixed neuron. It transmits the instruction of the spinal cord from the afferent to the efferent neuron. Fourth one, efferent motor nerve. It carries messages from the spinal cord to the effector organs. The reflex arc can be diagrammatically represented as external stimulus. So external stimulus, receptor organ muscles, they are going to receive and the ma messenger impulse, uh, it goes to the spinal cord through sensory nerve and from spinal cord, uh, it goes through motor nerve through mixed nerve and uh, finally goes to the effector organs and uh, here come the response. So here is one question, it says the reflex arc which occurs when a sharp pin or ob object is suddenly pricked. So here sharp pin or uh, sharp object or sharp pin, so it is received by receptors, muscles, sensory neuron, so it is going to carry that impulse to spinal cord and spinal cord uh, with the help of motor neuron, motor neuron uh, carries this, uh, impulses to effector organs which is muscles and as a response or reaction, so leg will be removed. Autonomous nervous system. It is concerned with the control and coordination of automatic activities of human body and it is divided into two parts. They are sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system. Sympathetic nervous system. It increases heartbeat rate, blood pressure, blood flow to the brain at the same time of sudden accident. Second one, parasympathetic nervous system. It normalizes the situation after accidents that means decreasing blood pressure, heart rate, etc. Synapse. The gaps, with, the gaps form between the synaptic nerves of a neuron and dendrites and a cell body if another neuron is called synapse. Ganglia. A group of nerves that are found near spinal cord which establish communication between brain and spinal cord are called ganglia glandular system the group of glands which segregate different types of juices required for body is called glandular system glands the organs which segregate hormones and different types of juices and helps in metabolic activities in our body are called glands types of glands exocrine gland endocrine glands mixed heterocrine glands characteristics of exocrine glands they are doctor glands. Their secretion is carried by dog to the related region of body where they have to work. They secrete juices like mucus, saliva, tear, etc. and consumption of their secretion is more in amount. Their secretion are related to life process like respiration, digestion, etc. Distance between the gland and the working region of the juices produced by them is less. Example salivary gland, tear gland, liver gland, gastric gland, intestinal gland, etc. Characteristics of endocrine glands. They are doctor's glands. Their secretion is carried through the blood stream to the related region where they have to work. They secrete hormones and consumption of their secretion is less in amount. Their secretion are responsible for control and coordination of growth. Distance between the gland and the working region of the hormones produced by them is more. Characteristics of endocrine glands. They are duct or ducted glands. Their secretion is transported by a separate duct or through the blood, for example, pan pancreas gland, gonas, etc. Differences between endocrine and exocrine glands. 
exocrine glands they are doctor glands whereas endocrine glands they are doctor's glands secretion is carried by the duct to the related regions of the body in exocrine glands whereas secretion is carried through blood stream to the related region in endocrine glands the secretion of uh, exocrine glands are called enzymes whereas the secretion of endocrine glands they are called hormones consumption of their secretion is more in amount in exocrine gland whereas the consumption of their secretion is less in amount in endocrine glands hormones the chemical substances secreted by endocrine glands and heterocrine glands and have effect on growth and metabolic activities of the target cells are called hormones hormones are commonly known as the chemical messenger of the body because they are the chemicals who serve as a mean of communication among various parts of our body in a coordinated way some of the major glands or hormones uh, function of the functions of this secretion uh, are given below now we are going to discuss few endocrine glands so first one uh, pituitary gland parathyroid gland thyroid gland adrenal gland pancreas ovary testes pituitary gland it is a small endocrine gland and its shape and size are like p location Pituitary gland it is located in depression of the saphenoid bone in the skull. Secretion. Growth hormone, catalytic hormone. Function of growth hormone. It increases the rate of protein synthesis. It controls the growth and overall development of the body. Functions of catalytic hormone. They control and regulate different metabolic activities. They control the secretion of other endocrine glands. Hyposecretion of pituitary gland hypersecretion of growth hormone causes uh, dwarfism whereas the hypersecretion it causes the zygentism so here is one important reasoning question from the heading pituitary gland why this gland is called master gland pituitary gland is called master gland because it controls the secretion and activities of all other doctor's glands second one thyroid gland location so neck region just below larynx in front of trachea hormones thyroxine which is also known as the thyrotropin function increases cellular respiration metabolism and growth of the body hypersecretion causes the increase in the rate of metabolism increase in pulse rate mental irritability excessive sweating excessive hunger hypersecretion causes retardation of physical and mental growth dry skin so plus rate Less sweating, stammering, hoarseness of sound, etc. Some sometimes thyroid gland increases in size due to the deficiency of iodine in diet called goiter. Thyroid gland secretes calcitonin hormone, which encourages calcium deposition in the bone. Parathyroid gland location over thyroid in throat secretion parathormon function maintenance of calcium and phosphate level and controls the proper development of bones. It reduces excretion of calcium in urine. Hypersecretion, formation of tumor and kidney stone, softening of bones. Hypersecretion, fall in the calcium level in the blood and switching of stitching of muscles and titani. So here is one question. Sweat gland is called exocrine glands. Why? Because it secretes juice which is sweet with the help of duct. Adrenal gland. Location kidney, secretion adrenaline function, maintain body blood pressure, prepares body to face emergency, balance salt in body, balance water in body. Hypersecretion, high blood sugar, hypertension. Hyposecretion, weakness, low blood pressure, less sugar content in the blood, unconsciousness. Adrenal gland it releases cortisol hormone which acts as a sex hormone. Due to over secretion of cortisol hormone, feminine characters are seen in male and the masculine characters are seen in females. So here is one important reason question from adrenal gland which is why is adrenal gland called emergency gland? Adrenal gland is called emergency gland because it helps body to face emergency situation and prepares the body for flight fight and fright pancreas pancreas it is located behind stomach in the abdominal region 
सो इस एक एस हार्मोन कॉल इंसुलिन फंक्शन ऑफ इंसुलिन मेंटेनेंस ऑफ सुगर लेवल इन ब्लड स्टिमुलस डिपोजिशन ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा ग्लूकोज इन द फॉर्म्स ऑफ ग्लाइकोजन इन लीवर एंड मसल्स हाइपोसेग्रेशन कॉजेज डिजीज नोन एज डायबिटीज विच इज कॉमनली नोन एज सुगर डिजीज हाइपोसेग्रेशन कॉजेज हाइपर गैलिकमिया एंड हाइपर गैलिकमिया पैंक्रिया सेग्रेस ग्लूकागोन हॉर्मोन दैट इंक्रीज अमाउंट ऑफ सुगर इन ब्लड एंड इसमें लीवर टू कॉन्ट्रोल ग्लाइकोजेन इन टू ग्लूकोज so here is one important reason question from the heading pancreas why pancreas are called mixed glands pancreas is are called mixed gland because as a endocrine gland it secretes hormone insulin and glucagon and as a exocrine gland it secretes enzyme pancreatic juice gonads testes of male and ovaries of female is called gonads testes male reproductive organ They are heterocrine glands located in lower abdominal region which produce male sex hormone called testosterone. The major function of testosterone is that it promotes the development of the muscular and secondary sexual characteristics like appearance of pubic hair, development of sexual desire and hoarseness of voice. Over is female reproductive system. Female reproductive organ. Location lower abdominal region. Secretion estrogen progesterone. functions estrogen regulates the development of secondary sexual characteristics and helps in the growth of mammary glands progesterone hormone plays a significant role in the maintenance of pregnancy that is prepares uterus suitable for the development of embryo so here is one question endocrine glands are very important even they are small in size why So they are be important because of following reasons. On the secretion or over secretion of hormones produced by these glands directly affect the growth and development of the body. Any disturbance in the function of these glands results in dwarfism, gigantism, obesity, sterility, etc. Next question: Animal can respond quickly to a stimulus, but but plant cannot. Why? Animal use both nervous system and endocrine system, so they can respond quickly to a stimulus. But nervous system is absent in plants, and they use only endocrine gland system for coordination. Therefore, plants cannot respond quickly to a stimulus. So here are some headings which uh, can be asked in one mark: synapse. The point of junction of neuron is called synapse. Axon. It is the longest dendron in our nerve cell. Dendron and dendrites. Dendron is the cytoplasmic extension of a nerve cell. For the branching of the dendron is called dendrites. Cyton is the main cell of a neuron that contains a nuclear cytoplasm and dendron. Cortisol. It is hormone secreted by adrenal gland, which sometimes works as a sex hormone. Impulse. It is the information that passes to neurons in the form of chemical and electrical signals. Cranium. It is a group of eight flat bones that makes up the brain box to protect brain. Cretinism. It is a slow physical and mental growth in the prenatal or infancy due to hyperactivity of thyroxin. Myxedema. It is the muscular weakness along with the slow heartbeat due to the hyperactivity of thyroxin during adulthood. Gray matter. It is a tissue made of lumps of dendrites. white matter it is a tissue made of lumps of axons islets of langerhans it is the isolated group of cells of endocrine pass of pancreas cells of ligit it is the specialized cells of testis titani it is a sudden contraction of the limbs muscle due to the under secretion of parathormone reflex arc it is the pathway in which the nerve impulses travel along sensory and motor nerve in the reflex action by this we have completed notes of this unit human nervous and glandular system i hope this video was useful to you if you like this video please share among your friends and don't forget to subscribe if you have any queries drop the comments in comment section see you on next video thank you